there's just 10,000 projects around here that need to be done and they just kind of like overbear on me and then we had lots of clutter and that's because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just gathering all this stuff with, no, oh, I'm a gonna or uh, I'll get to that later and then it just became too much and it's like I can't, I can't uh, function with all this stuff around. Uh, I would tell myself or ask myself, what do successful people do? A lot of my clients that I worked for, uh, my personal construction business, they were successful people and they could afford to hire me to do these things. You know, and I would come into their houses and I would, you know, notice that a lot of them were clean and put together and clutter free and organized and all that. So I started to kind of apply those things here, not only in the house, but you know, my tools and my truck and my trailers and the tool shed and the storage container. And we got rid of like two trailer loads of junk out of just our storage. And it was just stuff that was just, we were just accumulating or I was just accumulating and Oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and no, I just didn't know what I was doing and figured I could do everything, and that didn't work. Uh, one of the things with cleaning out the container was like, I, uh, I got rid of a lot of stuff, even from my childhood. And I remember dumping it at the dump. I remember looking at the stuff and then jumping in the truck and driving away. And I, uh, as I was driving away, it just felt super freeing. Like, ah, you know, that's, that person back then is no longer me. I'm not that person anymore. I'm not the person that I was two years ago nine months ago or when my wife married me or when my kids were born uh, in a good way I've definitely progressed I feel like one of the reasons that I started the YouTube channel was uh, I remember watching some other youtubers and being like you know I could do that. I think that's one of the cool things about the creators or YouTube in a sense. Uh, in the future, it could be anything, but is that anybody could do this. Uh, one of the things when I was younger that I did enjoy in middle school was uh, we had a computer lab and we had a really great, great teacher. We all have those teachers that just make a difference and, and are burned into our memories and that one was for me Mr. Lathrop. He had this computer lab. Um, I remember it had all the bubble max. It was all Mac and it was definitely a creative space. Uh, we had cameras. Oh gosh, I think they were like uh, Sony, the little Sony memory sticks back in the day. Um, I think there were some high eights going on, and uh, we would basically just do editing, or editing, so film and photography, and then editing of photos and film or movies. And uh, I loved it. And I would, I was, I don't think I was so great, but I enjoyed it so much and was good enough at it that um, after school, the teachers would come into the class and he would teach the teachers some editing um, things and photography and stuff like that. And he brought me in as the teacher's assistant to uh, help teach the teachers. And that was, that was really cool. But, and then I went to high school in the high school communications program and they had like a computer lab and it was, it was terrible. It was ran by like the assistant football coach. I don't know if he had any experience in the things, uh, but uh, it was not very good. I don't really ever remember picking up a camera in that class or touching a computer. We had like gateway computers. 
it was sad. Uh, my hope is to someday make enough to where I can, you know, give to the high school and like, hey, just let's continue to, you know, evolve and, and get better here with these things because there's, there's a lot of stuff that can be done. Uh, I did enjoy, I loved video editing and uh, photography and f cameras and all that stuff. And uh, I didn't go that route. And one of the cool things that I'm starting to realize is that my paths of construction and video have kind of crossed in a sense to where, you know what, I do have this experience of these things and I do enjoy doing this other thing over here put them together and let's let's see what we can do so yeah that's kind of basically what I'm doing here this play structure has been sitting here for so long I, about a year I started into you know the process of getting it built up and just haven't necessarily had the time to continue the process. Uh, we got the decking on and the, the platform. I've had the wood sitting over there next to the shed for uh, a long time. We bought it during the pandemic and because the prices were going up and uh, I better get it now so I can do it later. And so here I am now finally getting to it. But I do think that the whole process of, you know, stepping back, slowing down, figuring out what's going on, setting my priorities, and getting where I need to be has been very helpful. I know that a lot more projects are going to be happening here. My eyes have started to open. I know that there's a lot to do here. And I want to bring y'all along with that and film it and edit it and, and have that process too because I do enjoy it. Um, I am gonna kind of change format a little bit in the sense I, I do want to teach and, and show type thing but I also want to kind of bring in my philosophy of things like what I've learned and if you know what I've learned to get me to where I'm at is helpful to anybody else then that's that's great too because that's all I want to do is just teach and stuff like that takes learn the stuff and then regurgitate it out to others um, yeah so that's all I got to say about that thanks for watching See you on the next one.